that there's no reason to be here if you're not here. And uh, I hate that perspective, you know, because you shouldn't be reliant on another person to keep your life going. Yeah, you have moments of uncertainty. Yeah, you have moments in your life that really fucking suck. But you need to find value within yourself before you dedicate yourself to a relationship. Because if you can't value yourself, how do you expect somebody else to value you? You know what I mean? I say that very often, but you have to cherish yourself. You have to value yourself and learn to love you. Because nobody else can show you that same love that you can show yourself, right? Don't go into something you're not prepared for. Love yourself first. Because nobody's going to love you as much as you love you. Yo, what is going on, Tiggs? Welcome back to another reaction, review, commentary. Whichever one you would like to consider it. So, I'm back. I'm back. And I know a lot of you guys are confused, you know, when I take these little breaks here and there. Um, fun fact, we do post early reactions, you know, exclusive reactions over on Patreon. So when I'm missing nine times out of 10, you know, reactions on Patreon are being uploaded. So for those guys who are interested in checking out the Patreon, you can pledge at tier one, which is like $2 and then you get early reactions, you get exclusive reactions, you get a bunch more stuff over there. So anyways, to cut a long intro short, we have a little of a, a little bit of a big video here. Um, we have a bunch of rappers, you know, we have Epic High, we have Big Naughty, uh, we have PH1, a few videos here in this kind of mega, somewhat small, big, medium, I don't know. Let's call it a mega reaction. That's what we're going to call it today. It's going to it's gonna be called a mega reaction. That's what we, that's, that's the name. <laughs> so to cut it long into short, this one did come to you guys by Patreon. And for those guys who are interested in requesting uh, videos for me to watch, Patreon link in description. You can pledge at tier tier three, tier four, tier five. There's a bunch of shit over there. Go check that out. Link in description. Let's hop into Big Naughty Joker featuring Jamie. 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 <laughs> Imagine butchering a name that bad. Jamie. Jamie. It's Jamie Linton. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Big, is Big Naughty part of higher music? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, it, it's the higher music YouTube channel. Big Naughty is part of higher music. I've been, I've be tripping in these streets. Trip. Tri Someone has broken in. Okay, Someone the music video is called Joker. Cards. Cards. It's like a purge type thing happening right now. Against you. He's in a room. Him by himself. This is Big Naughty. This is my first time ever listening to Big Naughty by himself. Body bagged, not body bagged, head bagged. Okay. I like the subtlety. Ooh. Holy, yo. <laughs> Big Naughty. I don't know if that's Big Naughty sleeping, uh, singing, or if that's Jamie singing. But whoever, whoever's vocals this is right now, they have such a soothing charisma to their voice, the way they articulate themselves. It's so soothing. Listen to his accent. Listen to his cadence. <laughs> He got some groove to him. Hey. Okay. He got this nice jazzy flow to him. I'm liking this. And I like the fact that it takes place in an interrogation room because it's like he's in his mind. You know, what other, what other uh, levels of symbolism do you have to where you can picture yourself fighting or, you know, rehearsing or going over dialogue within your inner dialogue? Can you believe this shit? I figured this out not too long ago. Not everybody has an inner dialogue in their head. Not everybody has that little voice who talks to them. I, it's, it's not crazy for those guys who don't have that voice. But a lot of people don't have the inner dialogue that reads the words on the pages. You guys just comprehend that shit and it doesn't make sense to me. How y'all be doing that? Baby, no, no, nigga, hey. my. This is like a mix of R&B, soul, and hip-hop all in one. Uh, I get it. I get I, I 
I get it. The song's name is Joker because the girl, uh, her symbol of the song is being the Joker. You know, it's like she's a, she's a play. She's messing around with my mind. That's who she is. Come on, bro. Higher Music has some beautiful deliveries when it comes to their music, their songwriting, their production, their film. Higher Music has some of the most interesting, interesting storytelling I've ever seen. And hype labels. Them too. <laughs> Is he playing the blues scale right now on the piano? I think I think that is the blues scale. He added some flavor to it though. So now it's like it's it's being told from two different perspectives. Hold on, let me clarify this real quickly. So Big Naughty, let me see what Big Naughty looks. Can, can Big Naughty sing too? Okay, so it was Big Naughty doing the singing. Who's Jamie? Jamie and Big Naughty. Ah, so Jamie is the famu, the female. I didn't say famu, <laughs> like funnel. <laughs> so Jamie, Jamie is the female. It's being told from her perspective now. Messed up for that one. I don't like the fact that the song is toxic. It's a mix of good and bad. It's a it's a mix with pleasure and pain. You know, I don't know which one to choose. So let's just play the game. Hey. This is one of those songs where I'm having trouble um, paying attention to what's going on because the way they're singing, uh, the lyrics that they're talking about, it's very hard to pay attention. You know, not many songs give me the exact same feeling to where I zone out completely and I'm listening to one thing, but the melody, the singing, the vocal, the vocals, um, the rapping, everything on it just feels very soothing to your ears. I'm enjoying it a lot. A lot. Hey, yo, did you lock her up or uh, you were playing games with her while she was playing games with you? Walk away, just walk away. I'm Murachi and K. I walk away, just walk, walk away. 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 Okay, okay. You know, you see, I don't like the way you just looked at me. I don't know how to feel. Joker, Big Naughty featuring Jamie, So Do Hyun. So Dung Hyun, Jung Dayun, Holbin is the director. Are you visit? Are you visiting her, or are you the one being locked up right now? Because I know there's not this much free will in prison, unless there is. I've never been to prison. I can't tell you. Yeah, you're way taller than that cell, my guy. Cell's way too goddamn small for you. You don't belong there. What I'm gonna do right now, as you guys always know, I have Black 
As, as, as you guys always know, I tend to have review sections at the end of all of my videos. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do some research on the entire meaning, the message of the song. Then we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the meaning. We're going to talk about the message, my interpretation, my thoughts, my opinions. And we're going to go into the values and review quote unquote section. Again, there are time codes below for any of you guys who want to, you know, skip commentary, skip intro, skip more intro. If you guys want to do that shit, there's time codes. Let's check this out. I'll be right back. So I'd like to I'd, I'd, I'd like to take a second to let you guys know that I was wrong, right? She didn't do shit to him and he didn't do shit to her. So the entire music video is very it's weird. You know what I mean? So it's two people being kidnapped and the man being forced to rob a bank um, in order to save the wife, whatever. But at the end day, when he saves her, he's willing to do anything for her, as he said earlier on the song. He's willing to do anything for you. Um, he'll he'll drop the world on somebody's head. A Lil Wayne hashtag Eminem. He's willing to do anything, you know, for this lady that he likes. And that just so happens to land him in jail. That's the entire message of the song. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, maybe I reached a bit during the middle of the video. But again, it does really symbolize what you would do for somebody you love. It really does symbolize the fact that you would go to any length, right, to rescue the person that you love. Right? That takes a lot. That takes a lot of deep loving. It wasn't crazier than that. It wasn't more nuanced to that. It was a pretty straightforward video, and I enjoyed it. Big Naughty Joker featuring Jamie. Jamie. I know it's a Jamie, but I'm going to say Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from Big Naughty Joker, it was a great... Joker, we now have Epic High E. This one comes to you guys by Patreon. They go by the name of P-Toonies. Big shout out to P-Toonies. P-Toonies, hope you're having a very beautiful day. So, Epic High E, I listened to Map... I think I listened to Map of the Soul, Lesson Zero. That's what I listened to last time. And Lesson Zero was a very interesting track. I'll put a card up here for those of you guys who want to go check that out. I think it's going to be over here or it's going to be over here. It's going to be one of the two. But Map of the Soul, Epic High E, uh, music video featuring Carol One and MYK. I've never heard of those two names. I think the only person I really know off the top of my head from Epic High e is Tableau, and I don't really know too much about Epic High e other than they have bangers, and their videos are very, very, very articulate and lyrical. Let's see what this is about, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the video. Let's go. I remember my first glimpse of her face. I saw you smile, then I smiled. I was straight blown away, mesmerized by your beauty from your feet to your hands. How can one be so beautiful? I don't understand. Some poetry. Heaven sent God's gift without a doubt in my mind. Okay. Sometimes I wonder why our past decided to collide. We started off as perfect strangers. Boy meets girl, infatuation to love. Now you're my whole entire world. Nah. Destiny taps me on the back saying hello, but really it was your touch. No, when I never let you go, then you I, I miss. I miss things like this. I miss the spoken word type poetry vibe that artists used to do if we look back into the early 2000s late 90s you've seen this a lot you've seen this level of dialogue a lot you know the soft spoken um charismatic poetry that artists would put out there nowadays you don't really see it as much nowadays things are more revolved around trap pop you know trap itself um hip-hop hip-hop i don't see this soft spoken word um subtlety in the industry these days it sucks but it comes with evolution it is what it is, but I really hope to see more stuff like this. It's just like, this is one reason I love Epic I am. Was your touch no when I never let you go, then you spoke. I never heard a voice so sweet. Heavenly and from her words, man, I knew this girl was deep, just like me. With times to worry and times to play, we'll sit and stress over life, but just burn the day away. I know for sure in our past lives we had to be friends, living and dying together. No one that we would need again. It's just a blessing. That was beautiful. Earlier on he said, um, if we have nothing to do, we'll sit at home and burn the time away. Sometimes that's just what spending time is. I see in this generation. And not even just this generation in general people will sit and think to themselves if they're with their partner if they're with their couple they'll feel kind of oddness to the situation if you're not doing something you feel like you're doing nothing and you feel like if you guys are both quiet around each other then you both aren't communicating you both aren't loving each other the way you once did you gotta understand that there's a honeymoon phase of every relationship where everything is brand new everything feels very fresh things like that you know and over time that stops happening it's not the exact same way and it's the same thing with almost all kinds of property that you have the first week the first month you get it um you're amazed but as time goes on you're kind of like it is what it is and that's kind of what love is it doesn't mean you guys love each other any less it just means that you are now comfortable with each other to spend silence with each other you know what i mean it's not always about talk it talk it talk it talk it talk it talk it you don't always got to talk Sometimes you just gotta chill and vibe. Past lives we had to be friends, living and dying together, knowing that we would meet again. It's just Ooh. a blessing yeah. to have you in my life. I was destined to be with you on privilege. So amazing, no question. He said to be with you on privileged. We're going, just thinking about it. I That's some love. Growing. Am I tripping or is it that I finally see? I don't know, but my heart is saying you're the one for me. Please believe me. Uh. I'm exactly where I wanna be. This rhyme is written from my heart to you. Sincerely, no. He said my heart is written from my heart to you. Sincerely, come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Exactly where I want to be. This rhyme is written from my heart to you. Sincerely, no reason to live without you. Okay, I don't know about that. No reason. 
That's a lot. That's a that's a little bit dark. No reason to live without you. No reason to live without you. I mean, you turn a cocoon soul into a butterfly. It sucks that he has that, you know, value when it comes to human beings. It sucks that he has that opinion when it comes to relationships in life. That there's no reason to be here if you're not here. And uh, I hate that perspective that a lot of people hold, you know, because you shouldn't be reliant on another person to keep your life going. Yeah, you have moments of uncertainty. Yeah, you have moments in your life that really fucking suck. But you need to find value within yourself before you dedicate yourself to a relationship. Because if you can't value yourself, how do you expect somebody else to value you? You know what I mean? I say that very often, but you have to cherish yourself. You have to value yourself and learn to love you. Because nobody else can show you that same love that you can show yourself, right? Don't go into something you're not prepared for. Love yourself first. Because nobody's going to love you as much as you love you. Let's keep going. That's, that's a point that I disagree with. You turn a cocoon soul into a butterfly. Mm. Nah, lose control, can never turn aside. Nah. You shine like summer skies. Like when I love this is next to me and says to me, you make me wonder why. Nah. You are a beautiful mystery. Okay. Every note carved into musical history. A simile, metaphor, words not enough to entrust to you. Trust that it's true. We nah. must have a clue. But we ask for evidence. Dwell in passing sentiments. Still we bask in eminence. Every moment, every day. Busy getting the rhyme scheme away. here. Soul fades away into a grainy shade of gray. I pray that you listen to what I say because I feel like I'm missing you. This is to everything that you are. The I, wild. I, I'm seeing this this guy turning around and around, but my mind isn't processing the fact that it's a person. I don't know why I didn't, I, I didn't process that until now. Why do you look like that? What I say because I feel like I'm missing you. This is to everything that you are. The wild earth, a child's birth, sun, moon, and the star. No reason to live without you. No reason to live. Without you, ah, uh, no reason to live. Without you, no reason to live. Without you, I still don't like that, but it's a song, so I'm a vibe with it. Hey, hey, ah, ah, I like the slower BPM that we have in this song. Check it out. So I ask, what would I be without you? Like Stevie without wonder, hunger without food, a sheep without a shepherd, a sleep without your message. That despite the skeptic, he, we- <laughs> he said, What would I be without you? Um, it's like Stevie without wonder and hunger without food. I think that's what he said. She without a shepherd, a sleep be without you. Like Stevie without wonder, hunger without food, a sheep without a shepherd, a sleep without your message. That despite the skeptics and and you were true. Okay, and I knew that there was the lyricism. And I grew living for the light. Ah. I took my answers, combined them with yours. It made life exciting, but it closed some doors. Word to Christ, my life accelerated, then deflated. Sunk to bottom, then elevated till I made it. Ah. But you always had my back. Elevated till I made it. Rocks at me. I like that. Stage nice rapping. word play. Still, I see kids without love. It brings tears to my soul, but while they always drop up, the world's gone bonkers. You're conquered fear. And as long as I believe, you're the reason I'm here. Mm. No reason to live. I like that. You. No reason to live without you. I, I still don't like that he's saying that there, but no it's so damn catchy. No reason to live without, without you. you. Without you, out. No reason to live without you. necessarily think i don't necessarily think the song is about a necessary lover or a person i think the meaning is a lot more broad than i'm thinking of um what i'm going to do at the end of this video i'm going to do some research on the message what he was trying to give out there and then we're going to go into the review section break it down and then talk about it Unless, unless I am right. It's one of the two. It's either it's a song about a woman or a man 
or it's a song about the world and the universe. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta go look up the general message of the song. Then we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, we are in the review section. So I did do a bit of research and a lot of things are still a bit unclear for me as to the general meaning behind the song, right? The things that I was le uh, reading is that Map the Soul is also a website that they were publishing at the time. I do know that the general, you know, the overall message and theme behind the song was to adhere to the mass, right, on a global level, which is the main reason it's sung in English, right, instead of Korean. Um, it's a song that's supposed to be relatable. Um, it's a more soft-spoken song compared to their most recent styles that you would see or listen to, right? There's a bunch of soft undertones in the song, um, very well-spoken, very lyrical in that sense, and the song was great overall. Right, but I still I'm still having a bit of trouble understanding the message or if it was a lot more broad than what I expected it to be. You know, sometimes music music videos like this will have a way more deep and philosophical meaning, but my mind just won't process it at the time until later on. I may be sitting in bed like maybe three, four hours from now and be like, yo, that's what the song was talking about. But for now, I, I still don't know, even after doing so much research, you know, and they're just talking about the style, the style of the song, the stylistic proportions of it. They're not really deep diving into it. So it is inspired a bit by Arm and Shaw. Okay. I get that. See, I get that part. Map the soul. I get it. <laughs> I get it now. It's a map of the soul. It's him speaking about the powers of his soul and the shit that he feels deep inside. He's giving you a layout of his fucking soul. Why did that take me so long to understand? Anyways, Tiggs, um, that was Epic High. He mapped the soul, not map of the soul like BTS. Moving on, we got PH1, um, Malibu featuring the quiet Mokyo. Um, yeah. Let's go. We got, we got, this is, this also comes together by Patreon, by the way. So, it's cut a long intro short. PH1 Malibu. L let's go. Oh, shit. I like the beat. Hey. I can sit like that, too. Uh, hold on. No, I can't. I can't do it. Lyrics. Yeah, I got news. You my boo. So tonight, better see your move. Hey. You my cook in the mommy all in my cum volume. Or touch, I go, yeah. Hey. Midnight blues, yeah. Midnight blues, yeah. PM to the AM in my tomb. Yeah. Hey. In my tomb, yeah. They ain't a malignant. Yeah. What's your name is? You look dangerous. With the fragrance, let's just stay. Oh, the shit. Name, this goes hard. He said, he said, he said, what your name is? Why, why you listen to the accent? In my tomb, yeah, in my tomb, yeah. They ain't a malignant, yeah, what's your name? Hey. You look dangerous with the fragrance. Let's just stay on a first name. He said, you look dangerous. What's your fragrance? Let's just stay on a first name basis. I'm not trying to make this deeper than what it is. Shorty, this is a one night stand. I'm not trying to get into, I'm not trying to get into your mind, into you. I'm just trying to get into that vibe. Oh my God, PH1, relax. You can't be talking like this on the internet, bro. You're gonna get canceled. You won't. I'm kidding. You won't. <laughs> this, is, this is going sick. This is going naughty. You look dangerous with the fragrance. Hey. Let's just stay on a first name basis. I'm kind of famous. That's not important. Hajiana Gorman. He just, he just subtly threw it in her face that he's famous. But he said that's not important. On a first name basis. I'm kind of famous. That's not important. Hajiana Gorman. He said DMs on my IG. Choose names that I remember. Click, click. He be looking for them names. That's the quiet. His voice is a bit, not necessarily. Yeah, it's it's a bit monotone. So I'm I'm guessing he's the quiet. Why else would his name be the quiet? Like he seemed pretty reserved when he was sitting in the chair with his legs up and stuff like that. The quiet. That's my deduction as to why he's the quiet. He seems very chill and laid back. Oh, 
bone, yeah. Oh, sh- I like his voice. So hot. She yeah. got a dandelion. California. Tan skin, ooh, noon is so, yeah. Hey. Jabbar and daddy like the rose and Malibu. My heart is bumping, bumping. Da 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 do. She got a dandelion. California. Tan skin, ooh, noon is so, yeah. Jabbar and daddy like the rose and Malibu. Hey yo! I'm adding this shit to my playlist. Oh, queen of the dance floor. Can I get a chance? Who is this? I'm chicken man and got there. I go to put your chin on a dance floor. Chicken got to nigga, bungo chicken chair. Let him down, got nigga, gang shit. Hey, hold up. You say go get chicken, come on, baby. I take it to my man. I hear what it's calling me. Mom, make another holy chick. What? Let me be your one and only B. Good night, got your name. Hey, but then tell me what you need. My story, pity off, so baby. Ah, but if we and I, but my jump is so the bull, you'll be the one, Johnny, that way, sneak by the line. Sex legs. The descriptions, the pictures they're painting right now. But if we and I, but my jump is so the bull, you'll be the one, Johnny, that way, sneak by the line. Sex legs, no more heart is racing now. Grown people are session now. They got your jewel, Tenny Bear, one night. Not on Jamie, get on the bulb. Not do something nice, only girl. some crazy artist i swear to god anyways takes that is the entirety of this you know three video mashup right here again for those of you guys who are interested in early reactions exclusive reactions um you know patreon is the way to go whenever i go missing sometimes i'm on patreon or i'm just genuinely you know missing you never know where i am i may be there i may be there you never know but anyways takes this was th1 malibu it was just a dope song it was a vibe thing you know what i mean it wasn't too deep <laughs> your man was describing her whole body her figure everything like that it was just a fun song anyways takes i actually it was kind of a sex song but i'm not going to talk too deep about that but and as i always say stay present remain present because present moment is all you have so enjoy it while you can i'll catch you guys next time hot at the end of summer in california <sighs>